Hello and welcome back. Uh, we, we've given this wall overnight to uh, dry out here uh, and the guards has dried out here. Um, I picked this wall because it'll be a good place to start to skim. Uh, there's a lots of imperfections again on the wall. I know it's hard for the camera to see but there's a huge divot here. There's just scratch marks all throughout the wall here and there's the glue and there's the imprint of the paper bat backing. So the glue was never taken off so we just we sealed the walls and it's important um, to just run the blade across the surface to get anything that is still protruding there. Because after you prime, there will be some, some like rough spots because the primer will will harden up something and you know anchor it, and then you just shave it off here. Just a screw in the wall, so we have that. So I'm gonna take the edge of my blade here and grind that in so that it's concave, so when we mud over it, it'll fill in the impression. Okay, so in my bucket here, I have just all, all purpose joint, joint compound. Uh, and I didn't thin, I didn't thin it, it's right from the bucket here. Uh, it's filled up and I have my 14 inch flat trowel here and my hawk. So we're just going to uh, load up the uh, hawk here. So what we're going to do is we're going to skim coat the wall here. So I have my mud right there. You just give it a little shake and it sticks like that. So what I like to do first is reorganize it. Do a counterclockwise swipe that puts it in the middle or into a ball and you extend the ball. Okay, it's not going to go anywhere now. So we don't want to make a mess of this either. So we have to come up with a way not to make a mess. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to skim from the right to the left here. And uh, the easiest way is just to come into it so it loads up like that and you have about a few inches there and up, up top there so when you spread it, it'll still stay on the trowel. So I just put it up here and as you can see how it does it, it got to the very end there. Um, so we're going to do a counter swipe to clean that up there. Come back into it there and line up this so that you're a quarter, you overlap a quarter. So I'm going to put the uh, top half of the crescent over here so it overlaps the mud and push in. Okay, so you see, so it expanded both north and south there. That cleans it up there. The mud's getting to the end of there, so I want to reorganize this here so it doesn't fall to the floor. Put it to a ball and come on down like that. Okay, so I'll do it, come into it. Overlap a quarter and just give it one swipe there. Clean this off here. Come into it again. Now we have that all loaded up there, so we'll reorganize this here, give it a little shake, and that's not going to go anywhere. Now what I'm going to do is you can either use like a six inch blade here to feather off the top. Um, so I'm just going to use the top of this 14 inch trowel here. So I'm going to put the pressure towards the top here, and you can even use like your fingers too as a guide. But the main thing is just to do like one sweep and to feather it up. And you can see the amount of paint that came off there. We'll clean that up there. And now I'll just, I'll come to the top here and do a swipe across. Now, to, to, to leave a little bit of mud, you don't really want to leave or rotate your wrist that much. You want to keep it on like an incline of probably like 
25 da, da, da degrees. So, that's what comes off there. Not taking that much away, but leaving a lot there. Not a lot, but like probably like an eighth of an inch. And as you can see, jump you out of light. It's perfectly smooth. There are fish eyes in it, but that, but that's fine. Come to the middle here. Clean it off. And down here, since I've got some mud in the corner, I'm gonna start over here in the corner and come across. Clean that off there. Now I have just like a little bit down here, but I'm not gonna worry about that because I'm gonna start here again. Now since the mud is, is like that, you can either load up like this, or you can just reorganize it. Okay. Start start over here. Now. now I'm really putting a lot of mud in the corners here because there's a huge in incline there. So clean that off. Come into it. Now the last here. Come into it. Clean that off. And just gonna work that into the corner and come across. Come here. See, I can work it into the corner. I didn't do it all, all up there, but you take it and then work it into the corner. And when you take it, it only puts like a little bit on, so then you work that into the corner and you do that thing with your wrist and you pull across. And down here, I'll just come across like that there. Okay, so I'll clean this off there. I'll put these two tools down here. Um, so I'll just move the camera a little bit closer so you can see it. So as you can see, there are lines here and there. There's no big deal. We just want to let this dry out and we'll come back and just shave those off. So uh, there, so that's, that's your first coat. Um, so we'll, we'll uh, give this a few hours to uh, dry out. Now what works too is if you have one of those air movers, it uh, can blow air around and it's great for jobs like, like this. It'll make the joint compound dry a lot faster. Now this is going to dry via the water escaping and coming into the air and then it dries out so it will shrink um, but we'll, uh, we'll be back in a, in a few hours just to uh, see the uh, progress of this so until the next time